VIP. Let's kick it. Hi, this is George, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to specifically mix and my experiences with mixing salt water for your reef tanks and aquariums. This seems like a minor topic, um, but to me, it's more. I've had lots of experiences with mixing salt water in my years in the hobby. So my first few years in the hobby, I would always just buy the salt water already mixed from my local um, fish store. Um, but after a while, that does start to add up. You also don't have the convenience of using it and making it and having, you know, fresh, ready to go salt water whenever you need to make it or whenever you need it. So after a couple years, um, I started mixing my own and I would always buy smaller packages of it because I didn't want to spend more money at that specific time. I've tried a wide variety of the different salt mixes, but the one I prefer and I use now is uh, Reef Crystals by Instant Ocean. It has all the correct levels of all the supplement additives. Um, and, you know, at least for me and most people, um, they all work, but it just depends kind of on opinion and which one you like or which one you like best. Um, and that, that's the one that works the best for me. So instead of buying small packages um, every, you know, month, uh, I recommend waiting for sales at your local fish store or online um, stores like Treasure Coast Corals or Dr. Foster Smith Aquatics um, and getting big bulk packages with large amounts because in the long run it will save you a lot of money. When you mix salt water, just the biggest tip I can say, um, use RODI water. Uh, whether you buy that from the store or you make it in your own RODI system, even when I use RODI water, I use Prime, um, which like dechlorinate, uh, dechlorinizes and um, takes away ammonia and stuff like that, just in case. So, I mean, I'm, I'm super careful when it comes to the water and the water quality that I use to mix my salt. In. So now I'll show you the exact process that I do um, weekly and monthly for my reef aquarium and the way that most aquarists do it, um, it it's one of the most easy ways um, and processes in the hobby. So now I'll show you exactly how I mix my water. Um, first, one of the most important details is I use a bin um, to mix it in. Make sure it's thoroughly washed. Make sure all of your supplies are thoroughly washed. Um, also, this is like I showed the the big box of uh, reef crystals I got. It's 200 gallons of, um, of mix and I got it for I think 50 bucks um, and it comes with um, three big, um, three big salt bag mixes, and um, I use them one at a time, and that's why I use this bin for uh, to do that. So the other supplies um, is of course the RODI water. I had the old power head I used to use on my 12, um, and now thoroughly mix the water. Uh, this is just an ordinary instant ocean hydrometer. Um, and that's to test the salinity. Then you have the measuring cups for how much you want to put in. Uh, and finally, I have um, a handheld refractometer. Um, this is going to give you a, a more precise, uh, accurate reading of your salinity level more than the hydrometer. So you can use this for like quick use. And then I would use I'll open it up the, I would use the uh, hydrometer for uh, quick use and then the refractometer for more accurate readings. So this is the bin um, and so basically all you do is you add as much water Okay. Um, then what I do is, even though I know this is already a water, I add some prime. And now, um, now that I've added prime, I'm already going to put my um, my little power head into the tank, and I'll plug that in, 
or in the dark. So now we'll start mixing, and then of course, this is the the bag I'll be using to mix my salt water. Um, and it says mix reef crystals with ordinary dechlorinated tap or purified water. Uh, prepare a small quantity. Use half a cup of reef crystal for each U.S. gallon of water. Um, I add a little bit more. That's usually not enough. The recommended, obviously, is the 1.0. 20 to the 1.026 um, and that's both readings on the hydrometer and the refractometer. So this is the salt and you add half a cup for each gallon so there's about three gallons in here so I'll add three half cups just to begin with. And I cannot I cannot stress enough um, after you know adding cups of salt just making just checking what the reading is so you know um so you know where you're at so you're not adding too little or too much it's two it's three um so let's get and so the powerhead will mix all the salt around and it will dissolve into the water and within I'd say four to six hours if it's at the right temperature, of course, um, you can then use it for a water change and it'll be ready to go. Um, the main thing is use RODI water. Um, it doesn't really matter the type of salt, but also then check your parameters. Yeah, and I'm at 1.020. So I'll leave this for a couple hours and then it'll be good to go. This is George. Thank you for joining me in this video. I hope it helped, um, especially for beginners, um, what it's like and what you're really supposed to do for mixing salt. It's really not that hard. Um, just follow some of the basic rules and you'll be fine. Yo, VIP.